Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And uh, this is the next in our series on Lion Server. And so what we're going to do today is talk about how to configure your network for your server. Now there's a number of things that we want to do to, uh, to configure the network in such a way that our server uh, is running properly and in our case that we talked about before that we're able to access it remotely from the internet. So there's a couple of things that we want to do to make sure that our server configuration is okay. So the first thing that we want to do is go to our airport utility and you can see here that this is uh, the airport utility that uh, that was just downloaded. It's version 6 and so it has a little bit of a different look to it. Uh, it has the uh, iOS look to it. And uh, my main uh, router here is uh, is an Airport Extreme. Now, if you uh, are looking for a router, you haven't considered uh, one to get yet uh, to use with Lion Server, I would highly recommend getting an Airport Extreme uh, because Server integrates with it so nicely. Uh, as you'll see in this screencast, uh, you can actually control your router uh, and some of the port forwarding stuff that we need to do through the actual uh, server application. And it sets everything up for you and just makes it really convenient to make Make it happen. So I would I would highly suggest uh, again if you're in the market for one to get one of these servers. Now, if you just click on the uh, on the router that you want to use, uh, it pulls up this little pop-up box that tells me a little bit about my server. The first thing we're going to do is we need to uh, rename our DHCP services uh, to work with our server because we want our server to be the one that's doing that. So if I just click edit here it will take me into uh, the airport utility setup for this particular base station and you can see all of our information on here. Uh, what we're going to do though is we're going to go over here to the network tab and what we want to do is set up our uh, DHCP to be uh, configured in such a way that we have a reservation for our server. Uh, DHCP basically is the um, is the program that facilitates all of the different IP addresses and uh, and things for items that are on your network. So as uh, something wants to connect to your network either wirelessly or through Ethernet, uh, the DHCP gives it uh, an IP name so that uh, it knows that it's on the network, it's connected, and it's working fine. And so what we want to do is be able to know what the server's uh, IP address is on our network all of the time so that we don't have to guess and it's not changing all the time. This makes it stable so that uh, the different operations and things we want to do uh, work a lot more smoothly. So if you'll notice here you can see that we've got uh, we've got our particular DHCP range here. That's fine. Those are the, the range of addresses that it's going to uh, give out. Uh, you can see here that there are DHCP reservations. Now I, I've already got a reservation uh, here for my server. Let me just show you that by editing it real quick. And you can see on here, um, you can change the description of it, um, which I'll probably do. I'm just going to put uh, Lion Server down here. Uh, then you can change the MAC. You can do it by either MAC address or by DHCP client ID. And I, I recommend doing it by MAC address because that's a lot, easy, uh, a lot easier to do. And uh, let me just show you for a second where to get your uh, MAC address. Now there are various places you can go to find the MAC address. Uh, since we're working with the network setup, it's probably convenient to uh, to find it there. So if we go to System Preferences and you click on Network, and this brings up the uh, the network pane. Now if I just click Advanced right here and go over to Hardware, my MAC address will be right here for the device that I'm using right now uh, on my Ethernet port. And so what you can do is copy, you know, just go you can actually go ahead and just uh, copy that information down, you know, you can do a copy paste so that we've got that information and then we can take it back into our our, our uh, router app. Okay. Now uh, that we've go got our MAC address and we've copied that, we can come back in here uh, to our edit and what we want to do is just paste that MAC address right there in that line. And uh, let me just change this back to Lion Server paste it right in that line and then what we can do is apply an IP address that we want to add uh, to our particular server and uh, and to make that reservation. Now you can do it in a number of different ways. You can do the 10.0 10 po uh, 10 uh, method. They have a 192 uh, method as well and there's a couple of different ranges you can use. Uh, for me I just decided to stick with the 10.0 uh, just because it's a little shorter but you can use whatever reservation you'd like to use. And when you're done with that and you have it all set up, you just click Save. 
and the information then is saved on there and you can see now I've got a reservation here for Lion server at this particular IP address so that sets us up for what we want to do now in terms of reserving that uh, that information all right now that we've restarted the router we've changed our IP address uh, for our server and you can see on the uh, airport utility that we've got green everywhere so it looks like our network is in good shape now we just need to make sure that our server is picking up the right addresses uh, for the changes we've made in the network now there's a couple of things we can look at uh, to determine if it's okay first of all let me just uh, put the airport utility down here and let me just pull up the server app uh, if you go into the server app under hardware uh, if your changes have taken place and everything looks great uh, you'll see the uh, the new address that you put right here on the ethernet interface now that may not have changed uh, you know the network settings may not have caught up with it at all uh, if not and if that didn't change for you and it didn't automatically pick up so that we know we're good and it doesn't say down here the right address that we want uh, along with our server name and all that kind of stuff uh, then there's a couple of things you can do uh, one of the things you can do is just go up to system preferences in the menu here and just pull up the network pane and once you're in in the network pane what you want to do is just find the the right connect which in my case here is the ethernet uh, and on here you can configure your IP address now I've got mine configured using DHCP with a manual address and what that means is that I'm okay with my router uh, giving out addresses to uh, the various clients on my network uh, but I just want to make sure that I have a manual address for my server so that that never changes that that lines up all of the time and everything's in good shape now if you want you can do different things with that instead if you don't like it that way you can go manually with it and if you just click manually then everything opens up and then you put in the address that you want right here and uh, and and then you're in good shape and it's set up for this particular uh, computer now I want you to notice something I'm just gonna revert here on this one um, if you notice something my DNS server in this case is a 127.0.0.1 now normally when you set up uh, your IP addresses manually a lot of times you'll match this IP address with this one well this address here basically is the the local address that just says hey when it comes to DNS when it comes to assigning uh, different things uh, just refer back to yourself uh, and look for that addressing so it's okay to have that on there uh, it's working fine on my server uh, you know some uh, purists like to see uh, this number match with this number uh, you can do that you can make that happen uh, one of the ways you do it on here if you wanna if you wanna make that number match is again I change this to manually you put in your number and then if you go into advanced here uh, and go into your DNS tab uh, you can change the DNS server right here uh, click OK apply that and make it happen and so that's that's how you can get that set up if this doesn't look right now uh, most times when you do the reset on your uh, router and if you have this kind of setting it will automatically fix it for you you'll be in great shape now there's one other way you can do it within the server app itself and so let me show you that too uh, you can also do this if you're looking at uh, the last video and this video and you've uh, kind of done the network steps first and you already have that ready to go and you wanted to set the network uh, when you do the uh, ho change host name just come in here to the host name area again and click edit and the change host name panel comes up it evaluates my network and we go through the assistant you click continue again we're gonna keep the host name for the internet the same things we did in that video but you'll notice here there's a change network button if you click that button right there it will uh, bring this up for you where you can manually put things in so you can actually put in your uh, DNS server address here if you want these to match and you can also go to manual where the whole thing opens up and you can change all of these and then click apply and then it will do the network setup and the host name all at the same time uh, but since we didn't do that because I wanted to cut these videos up a little bit so we could see how they work uh, I'm just gonna cancel that and you'll notice in, in any of these things if you go oh I don't wanna do this that's fine you just click the back button and keep going back to where you hit cancel and everything stays the same and nothing's changed so that gives you kind of an overview of how to change your network settings. Uh, in the next uh, screencast, we'll take this a little bit further and talk about uh, some more things that we can do with the router and the rest of the setup of the server. So uh, like I said, hopefully that helps you out in getting started with Lion Server. If you like this video, just uh, uh, you know, favorite it and uh, you know, uh, thumbs up and those kinds of stuff to let other people know as well. So again, thank you so much for listening to the podcast, and I'll be back at you with another podcast to help you do more things with your Mac.